It's Friday morning, it's about eight o'clock, and uh, uh, overnight a bird has come down and completely ruined my little seedlings here of cornflower because they've just churned up all my me, me seedlings of soil and made an unbelievable mess. And like basically killed them all because you know it's like <laughs> disturbed them. So it's terrible that what we've done there. There's a slight frost still here. You can see there. These are my shoes. This is my face. This is Justina. <coughs> Good job, Justina. You ruined the video. Sorry. <laughs> Pigeon. Oh, there's a heron just uh, standing on one of these islands here. Quite a big bird. Over the next again, second day in a row today. I'm meeting with um, an MP called Alex Sobel. I think that these fish would be uh, just eaten up by the heron. I mean, maybe they're too big, I don't know. I don't know how there's still goldfish in there. There's a, a fish eating bird. Maybe they just hide, the smaller ones hide, and they're too big. Not sure. Sunny day today. I had a meeting this morning with uh, an MP, Alex Sobel, very down to earth fellow. He's a lovely fellow, actually. Um, a few of us met with him. He just was quite direct in terms of asked him what you know what why did he specifically want to speak to us what was it? and uh, really interesting reasons in terms of what he's trying to do and what what he needs the science evidence to support um, yeah this is just a different part of the campus here this used to be the cricket pitch for the uh, Leeds Grammar School which is no longer on this site. Now this is the Marks and Spencer's archive and museum. It's actually a bigger building than you think. This is a sort of business innovation hub thing here. This which is part of the old Leeds Grammar School and the, the structure there is uh, part of the buildings now for Leeds Business School across here and then this big building here is the School of Law so we can see the layout and then this is the Marks and Spencer archive here with the free museum I go in it's, I think it's reopened now and they've got events and things still a lot of online events but they have a face-to-face -face event coming up I think in there it's previously been quite good refreshments and things like that. I've got a little seminar room at the back there and then the, the museum itself in there. But uh, I'm just uh, moving the car. Before I pick Stephanie up I've come down to Asda um, just to get some toilet rolls and things and um, there's a massive portable CT scanning unit and then two other units behind that and it's saying it's, it's testing for lung cancer and things like that. Just be like a just a people could just it doesn't seem to be anybody there at the minute but it's like two massive units and then a big unit like three lorries full of stuff uh, a mobile CT scanner unit she's back eh she's back from the big trip Yee, we'll get your suitcase out there
complex. Wow. And then we have to put black in the corner. Really? And now it looks like nothing. What is it meant to be? You can tell she did a hair Why do they make you crimp and put black in This is batik, isn't it? So I went to Morrison's and the buns, picking mix buns were six pence, so it's a penny each. All the different types, them pink ones and all that. These fantastic ones, absolutely delicious ones and all that. So there were one P per bun and I got uh, quite a few bags of those. I haven't been get, able to get them for a while, I haven't been like reduced to my liking. Uh, there was also these large baps were all reduced as well. Also at Morrison's reduced, there was even some peas, frozen peas reduced, uh, petit pois, and even some uh, these knobbly bob. I mean they reduced a bit, two pound to one pound, these knobbly bobblies or whatever they are, I don't know what they are. Uh, so then at the co-op what there was reduced, there was the fairy cakes, tuppence each, and there was a couple of pizzas, uh, I got paid 20 pence to buy them, because I got 50 pence off pizzas and I bought two pizzas for 15 pence each. So I got paid 20 pence to buy them. All the chocolate eclairs, of which there was more than there are here, were 20 pence each. Um, I'd been £1.80, so there was hundreds of them. I just got, well, how many did I get? I got too many, didn't I? I got six packs, 12. Uh, oh yes, Morrison's with some pancakes. Uh, there. And then also at the co-op I got these chicken thighs, five packs. I've been 275 for 69 pence. And uh, so I got them, that's pretty good. Uh, and then I also got uh, this, which I got paid 10 pence to buy because I had a 50 pence voucher of dips and it was 40p. So I got paid 10 pence to get that. So all in all, it was quite a good uh, really an excellent haul tonight. So there we go. Stephanie's been asleep since about half an hour after her tea. Exhausted from the trip. So there we go.